the highly anticipated matchup between legends Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal was not mean to be, with the 32-year-old announcing his withdrawal due to the knee tendonitis, which has plagued the 17-time Slam champion for much of his career of late. But he let his great rival now friend, Fed, know as soon as he decided, via text message. Since the two are much closer than they used to be, and really are the great statesmen for their sport, I got on the golf cart back to the main building then Rafa texted me a message saying, it's not going to be possible, my knee's not well and I can't do it, I went back to the house and relaxed, said Federer via Express. The 37-year-old responded in classy fashion, posting a video tweet featuring some of their epic battles. With the icons of the sport getting older every year, there's always the age-old question, was this the last chance for the two to face off? Both hope not. Rafa has always said that the last match he wants to play in this sport is against his great Swiss rival, it's a big letdown, Federer told ESPN, it's very awkward but it's a big letdown because I know the anticipation was there, from the crowd and especially also from us players, our rivalry is different now. When he was coming up, I was world number one and he was 17, it was cute at the time. Not so much anymore. We've had so many epic battles and I know now that everyone we have could be our last, was this our last chance? I really hope not. I believe at the level he's playing and I'm still going, that there's definitely going to be more, but if we stay up high in the rankings it's always a long way to get to each other in the draw. This would have been really epic. It's one of the most beautiful center courts that we have in the world, it would have been very special, we would have liked to battle it out and we all know Rafa would have given it all he had if he could have. For me it's a special rivalry. I hope we can have many more to come, Nadal now turns to the clay season, where he has owned the courts more than any other player in the history of the game. The hard courts have taken their physical toll on the Spaniard and he always feels most at home on the orange dirt, where he's the only player to have won 10 incredible crowns at several tournaments, including his 11 French Opens. Interestingly, there's a chance that Federer's and Nadal's next clash could occur during the spring clay season. Fed has committed to a heavier playing season. You get the feeling that he wants to enjoy playing on a surface that he used to enjoy, but has shunned the last two years due to a careful schedule. It would be fun to see the two face each other in another Roland Garros final. Federer faces Dominic Thiem in the final at Indian Wells. It is the first time the two will play each other in a final. Federer has a better track record over the Austrian on hard courts, but their head-to-head -head is evenly matched. Thiem has been an impressive top 10 player who has clocked in breakthrough wins for the last two years. He will be no pushover and the match will be tight. However, I give Fed the edge for his 6th PNB Paribas title, which would give him a 101st ATP title, only second behind Jimmy Connors for the record. The women's final begins 4pm. with the men's final to follow.